Good morning, good morning. I'm so glad you've joined us here at Rock Painting Workshops. Today I am going to colour in uh, a little giraffe and the image I found is by Romero Brito. So he just does like really fun, bright, coloured uh, images. Instead of colouring in all the background, I'm just going to do a bit of a smush around. So this is what I like to do instead of filling in a whole heap of uh, thick background color is I like to get that and while the you know put the color in and while it's still wet I like to just get my finger and just give it a smush outwards and uh, It adds just that little bit of color, but it doesn't add all the thickness of base coats and everything else Which really does affect your rock long term so when you have lots of layers on the rock there you know after a couple of weeks and all the waters evaporated out of them they can get uh, quite easy to crack and start peeling off because we've still got to add sealer and different things as well. So this is my way around that. And uh, I'm just gonna pick up a whole heap of colors, just cleaning the tip there. Got a little bit of something on it. Wasn't quite coming out pure orange. And what happened was I see how I've squished it. I pushed the nib down on Bert to give it a clean and a whole heap of paint came smushing out so I'm just using my paintbrush here and I've painted in some layers on the giraffe but what I have is a whole heap of paint left so here I'm just smushing it onto another rock putting all the paint on here and I'll use that as a background later on on a different rock and that's one of the main reasons I, I use Bert and not paper if you're ever cleaning your tip and you do push it down, like I said, you depress down on the tip to get the paint flowing again, and it does all come rushing out. If you've done it on paper, a lot of it absorbs into the paper. So I do it on Burt, and then I have a little pool of paint that I can quite easily smush across onto another rock and get some, some layers happening on another, on another rock. But here I've just continued on while I've been chatting away about Bert and I'm just adding in all the colours, the base colours that I want to use and there's no sort of thought process about it. I'm just picking up pens and colouring in sections. I'll just keep going around. So I, across on my blog page, I will put in the original image and how the artist's name is spelt because if you go and do a little Pinterest search on the artist's name, you're going to come up with some really fabulous rocks and fun, uh, not rocks, but fabulous images that you can use on your rocks. So it's some really nice, bright and fun, playful images. Okay, we'll pop a little blue ear up there and purple spot. So I like to use the, the colours in two different places. So you can see I've put a purple spot on his face and purple part in his body. Just starts help making it all belong. Sort of all works in together. And the, a lot of his work is bright primary colours. So, you know, when you're looking at your colours, go pick out your, your brightest. So no wonder I didn't pick out a bright red or something on here. But uh, yeah, just all those nice bright colours, nothing too wishy-washy. I think the lightest colour I've used here is that apricot on his nose. And that was one layer. And you can see here I've done two layers. So I let that dry, it only takes about a minute. And then I just colour in all the areas again. And that gets me a beautiful opaque look to the paint. So yeah, I've seen all sorts of images. He's got some cats and dogs and uh, the monkey's really cute. There's just so many really fun images by this artist and I'm sure you're going to love them. So just remember, jump on Pinterest uh, and look up the artist's name, which is Rom Romero Brito. I'm just going to outline all, that's the thing with the art that I'm copying is you have big black solid outlines around those really bright uh, colors that he uses. 
And when you see uh, his backgrounds, you'll see he actually does solid backgrounds. So you might like to give it a try. I just don't like the thick uh, backgrounds myself. And he puts um, polka dots and stripes, adds all that sort of uh, fun little textures across the art as well. There we go, nothing like some little uneven eyes on these quirky kind of characters. And all across and do the whole... I wonder what this word is in English. It, it's not just the mouth, it's the whole mouth area, isn't it? That, anyway, so he's a little bit odd there. Crooked little smile, odd shaped eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm sort of going to copy his style and put in some white polka dots on the background and then I'm going to call him finished. It's quite... I'm using the 3M. Don't push your pen in all the way. I'm just sort of tapping down to get the paint off the tip of the pen. Obviously if you push it all the way in you can get the, the paint's going to start flooding out. So I'm just pushing that excess paint off the tip but I'm not pushing the tip in. Some little dots onto him, and that's it. So, I'd love to see your bright little colorful giraffes, or you might choose to do the monkey, dog, or bird. Come and share with us over on Reef Rocks Free Workshops, and I really look forward to seeing your images.